Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a three word review for all the books I read in 2019. So let's jump into it. So I'm not sure who came up with the idea first, but I've seen a few um, five word reviews for my favourite books. I'll try to find the original one and link that down below. But in this case, I have written out three words for every single book I read in 2019. And I will be displaying it here and here by my giraffe fellow. And yeah, so if you see me looking down, it's because I can't remember all the words I put on this list and I'm really, really sorry. Um, but yeah, let's just jump into this. The first book we'll start with is The Bane Chronicles by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Brennan, Maureen Johnson and Cassandra Jean. Three stars, okay, uncharacteristic, adventurous. The next, Mortal Engines by Philip Reeves, four stars, adventure, steampunky, whimsical. The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood, five stars, memorable, scary. Oh, that was a big yawn. The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood, five stars, memorable, scary, feminist. Stargirl by Jerry Spinelli, three stars, quirky, young, life lessons. Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion, five stars, zombie, love, heartwarming. The Guernsey Literary and Potato Pill Society by Marianne Sheffer and Annie Burroughs four stars, Letters Abrupt, Strong Friendship. The Little Coffee Shop of Kabul by Deborah Rodriguez, three stars, Average Friendship Women. The Final Empire by Brendan Sanderson, five stars, Fantastic, Quickly Devoured, Loved. Before We Met by Lucy Whitehouse, three stars, Predictable, Good Writing, Quick. Rebel Angels by Libba Bray, five stars, Reread, Going Home, Magical. The Sun and Her Flowers by Rupi Carr, four stars, Relatable, poignant, beautiful. The Kiss Quotient by Helen Wong, five stars. Sexy, cute, brilliant debut. Obsidio by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman, five stars. Faff faced, brilliant conclusion. To Make Monsters Out of Girls by Amanda Lovelace, good, relatable poetry. Tim of the Adventurer by Jonathan Garnier, five stars. Cute adventure, need the next book. Book Learning by John McNamee, two stars. Comic Books Unlinked. The Tale of Genji, Volume 1, Dreams at Dawn, by Waki Yamoto. Three stars. Historical Japanese Classical Literature. The Ballad of Yaya, Volume 1, Jean Marie Oment. Five stars. Pidger Book, Historical Intriguing. The Boy in the Striped Pajamas, by John Boyne. Three stars. Historical Short Needed More. The Well of Ascension, by Brandon Sanderson. Five stars. Political Heartbreaking Novel. The Underfoot, Volume 1, The Mighty Deep. Three stars. Apocalypse, cute, skillful hamsters. Pilu of the Woods, five stars, impactful, touching, earthy. Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo, four stars, slow, memorable action. The Last Wish by Andres Spikowski, four stars, short stories, fast paced magic. 100 Names by Cecilia Ahern, three stars, feel good, quick read, heartwarming. Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi, important, fast paced, trippy. Thunderhead by Neil Shusterman, five stars, fast pace, action packed, that ending though. <laughs> House of One Thousand Eyes by Michelle Barker, three stars, important 1980s East Germany, courage. Because of Wind Dixie by Kate DiCamillo, five stars, childhood favourite, cute dog, all the feels. Vampire Academy, Frostbite, Shadow Kiss, Blood Promise, Spirit Round, and Bloodlines by Michelle Mead, five stars, Favourite school setting, Adore. The Bride Test by Helen Hong, five stars. Auto read author, cute. The Perfect Date by Evelyn Lozada, two stars. Meh, douchey, no. Red, White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston, five stars. Queer, adorable, politics. Inked by Emma Hamm, five stars. Memorable, magical, unputdownable. The Woman in the Window by A.G. Finn, four stars. Twisty, Unreliable, Jumpy. His Bloody Project by Graham McRae Burnett. Two stars. Dull, Pointless, Murdery. Crescendo by Becca Fitzpatrick. Two stars. Trophy, Boring, Cringy. Final Girls by Riley Sagar. Five stars. OMG. How to Stop Time by Matt Haig. Four stars. Moving, Eternity, Historical. Sabriel by Garth Nix. Four stars. Fantasy, Quick, Young. After She's Gone by Camilla Grieve. Four stars. Adventure, 
Dead Body, Cold Case. Lumberjanes by Shawnee Maguire, three stars. Cute, fun, quirky. The Prince and the Dressmaker by Jen Wang, four stars. Sweet, adorable, and beautiful art. Blackout, Connie Willis, four stars. Time Travel, World War II, Mayhem. My Sister, the Serial Killer by Oyin Khan Braithwaite, four stars. Tense Journal, Sibling Squabbles. Rivers of London by Ben Aronovich, five stars. Magical Police Fun. Mooncakes by Suzanne Walker and Wendy Zhu, five stars. Paranormal, cute, love. Drive by Neil and Jared Schusterman, two stars. Disappointing, had potential, needs great. Lucy the Octopus by Richie K. Chandler, two stars. Unkind, morals, sad. Every Boy's Got One by Meg Cabot, three stars. Easy, quick, quirky. Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell, three stars. Relatable, cute, unmemorable. Burial Rights by Hannah Kent, five stars. Cold, atmospheric, heart-wrenching. The Girl in 6E by A. R. Tor, three stars. Unputdownable, intriguing, cool plot. A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Camarera, five stars. Great rep, feisty, great world. Down Among the Sticks and Bones by Shawnee McGuire, three stars. Dark, paranormal, the moors. Fix Her Up by Tessa Bailey, four stars. Cute, funny, sexy. The Blaze Brits by Terry Deary. Educational, fun, intriguing. Heart of the Fae by Emma Hamm. Four stars. Fae, Beauty and the Beast, strong. The Future by Neil Hilborn. Three stars. Poetry, moving, sad. Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan. Three stars. Fun, crazy, slow. Tuck Everlasting by Natalie Babit. Two stars. Not as good as the movie, weird age gap. The Girls by Emma Klein, two stars, disappointing, cultish, slow. The Silent Companions by Laura Purcell, five stars, creepy, chilling, atmospheric. Angel Fall by Susan E, four stars, fast, paranormal, cool. Depression and Other Tricks by Sabrina Benaim, three stars, heavy, relatable feels. The Invisible Library by Genevieve Cogman, four stars, unique, fun, books. Half Bad by Sally Green, four stars. Witchy, unique, enjoyable. Animal Farm by George Orwell, three stars. Communism, books of the time, slow. Beneath the Sugar Sky by Shawnee Maguire, three stars. Cute, sugary warrior. Clatter by Neil Hilborn, three stars. Short, effective, thoughtful. Serpent and Dove by Shelby Muren, five stars. Witches, France, angsty. Our Numbered Days by Neil Hilborn, three stars, moving, thought-provoking, favourite. Tunnel of Bones by Victoria Schwab, four stars, creepy, fun, Paris. Cirque de la Lune, Emma Ham, four stars, circus, vintagey, magic. Adulthood is a Myth by Sarah Anderson, three stars, relatable, comedic, easy. Deviation by Christine Manzari, three stars, Fast-paced action dystopian. Exit West by Moshin Hamid. Four stars. Moving, eye-opening, unique. Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton. Four stars. Needed more. Interesting. Very fun. Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. Three stars. Okay. Relatable. Fast read. Salt to the Sea by Rutus Pettis. Three stars. Important heart-wrenching tragedy. Kings of the World by Nicholas Ames, five stars, funny, favourite, quirky. The Toll by Neil Schusterman, five stars, good wrap-up, fun and special world. Lyra Bird by Cecilia Hearn, three stars, unique, rom-com, light. The Curious Case of Benjamin Button by F. Scott Fitzgerald, three stars, short, slow, classic. An Ember in the Ashes by Salva Tahir, four stars, Intense, magical strength. The Golden Compass, The Subtle Knife, The Amber Spyglass by Philip Pullman, five stars. Dynamic, invigorating, beautifully heartbreaking. Ice Planet Barbarians by Ruby Dixon, three stars. Um, alien sex? Letters to the Lost by Bridget Camerera, five stars. Moving, emotional, hug. Codename Verity by Elizabeth Wing, four stars. Moving, stirring, ah! Queen of Babel by Meg Cabot, three stars. Funny, light, quick. Beautiful Creatures by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll, three stars. Long, witchy, 
interested. Rose Under Fire by Elizabeth Ween. Four stars. Important, heartbreaking, soul movie. Right guys, and that's it. I know I'm really bad at like remembering, so I had to look down quite a bit. I do apologize. I hope you like this video. I am gonna do a twist on this video for 2020, where I record three words for each book I read every month. So yeah. So hopefully I can look a little bit different each time and it'll be a bit more on the nose. Um, yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and make sure to tune in every week for a travel, lifestyle or bookish video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.